guys, it's Sack Productions 101 here with my next deck reveal and review. This deck right here is the Skulker deck from Skulker.com, so let's get right on in to the review. If you take a look at the box, you'll notice that it is all black, but if you get really close to the deck, you can actually see that there's a texture. You can't actually feel it, but you can see that there's a little bit of texture in the overall design. At the top, it has Skulker, right there, with a little bit of a wrought iron or a metal type feel to it. And the front of this is very simple and minimalist. On the side, uh, it says the United States Playing Card Company. On the other side, it says Skulker Playing Cards Performance Air Coating. And a little cool thing about this deck is uh, when it's like flat, as so. Normally on the side of a deck of cards you can read this normally and it's not upside down but on this deck of cards it's upside down when the deck is facing with this part up. Which is just something different compared to other decks that when they are face up, for example this deck, you can clearly read the side when you face it up. Same goes with the bottom. It's upside down when you just do this, but it says some copyright information and then it has the skulker image right there. And then we get a glimpse of the back design which we'll go a little bit more into detail once we get inside the deck itself. And if you notice that on the flap here you have the skulker image right here and it like continues when you close the deck into the actual back design image and that's a really cool feature on this deck as well. So let's check out the back design of the cards. This back design has a definite like metal feel to it, wrought iron. It kind of brings those elements into it. It's a subtle one-way back design. You guys probably won't catch it until I point it out. If you see in the little orb in the middle, the uh, the concrete around it, it's different when you turn it. For example, these lines up here aren't down here, so that makes it a subtle one-way back, and you're not going to notice that unless you study these cards for a long time. This is a nice, like, geometrical figure. It's almost starish like except there's a lot more points to it. And it definitely has, like, a 3D-esque type to it, and at the bottom of the top you see the Skulker logos right there. This entire back design has a sort of like black white gray feel to it except for the little orb in the middle and it has a nice like little like red or like auburn hue to it. So let's check out the two jokers. These jokers are definitely really weird looking. It's like a bird type figure except it's kind of melted into the cards themselves. It's like a shadowy type thing and you can almost like not make it out that it is actually like a bird figure. And at the bottom it has like a script type writing and it says Joker. Both Jokers are the same and it definitely kind of ties in with the deck of like the metal feel to it and it's kind of like creepy and like a spooky feel. Like when you hear the name Skulker it kind of brings about an esque of what these Jokers give off. Next we have a Joker, but it's a gimmick card, just like so with the Jack of Diamonds, the Six of Clubs, and the Eight of Diamonds uh, appearing on this card. It has the Skulker back and then a Joker front, just like so. And then we have uh, just a little promo card for the Skulker and just some information about the Joker gimmick. So let's check out the Ace of Spades. This Ace of Spades definitely fits well with the back design and the Jokers. It has like that metal feel to it, but it's actually a sort of like simple Ace compared to like the back design. The back design is definitely like really intricate with those metal and wrought iron type workings. And this kind of has that same feel to it, except it has more of like a geometrical feel as like the star in the center with all the little triangle type figures and just the way it goes about and it's not as complex as the back design yet it fits really well with it and the ace does look really nice and that is one positive for this deck 
and it says Skulker at the bottom. So let's check out the court cards. We have the King, the Queen, and the Jack of Spades. This deck was really hyped about on like Facebook and stuff, and it was way too hyped up for the fact that these are standard. This deck was really, really hyped to a point that there were awesome expectations for it, and a lot of people don't see that it met those expectations on the fact that these are standard. If you take a look through the cards, everything else is custom. There's no coloring differences, there's no uh, font changes, there's no nothing. And that's a definite disappointment to a lot of people with this deck of cards. The deck looks alright, however, when you do fan it, you only get a tad bit of the design, the little like edges. When I first got the deck out, it lasted about an hour and then it started to clump very heavily. This deck did not last long at all and now after about 10 minutes of continual fanning and use just like so, it starts to like clump extremely bad. It doesn't hold up very well at all and it was way too hyped about to not handle as well as it was hyped about and to not look as well as it was hyped about with the standard uh, court cards and such. Overall, a good positive about the deck is that it's durable. The stock feels really nice and the cards have a nice springy feel to them. The jokers look awesome and the ace is really elegant and simple and it goes well with the iron workings of the back design and the jokers and this gaff is definitely really cool positive as well. This overall deck I would have to give a 3 out of 5. Its handling is really lacking for the fact that it was hyped up so much. The design elements are alright. It would have looked a lot better if the uh, court cards were custom as well as the rest of the deck. And just really the overall fact that it just doesn't handle as well as it should or could is the fact that it deserves such a lower rating on the rating scale. The stock of this deck is really nice. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's kind of that happy median you get and it just, it's a pretty durable uh, stock. I've been practicing with these deck and using it just a, a good a lot, even though it does clump a lot after a good amount of use, it still is really durable and the stock has a nice springy feel to it as well. So the overall stock, I would have to give that a 4 out of 5. The look of this deck is definitely really cool. The design elements on the back are really nice, the jokers look cool, the box is kind of minimalist and then you get into the back design and you see what it really has to offer. The one thing that is the downfall on the design is the actual standardness of everything including the court cards and the pips and all of those things. So the overall look of this deck I would have to give it a 3. The handling and feel of this deck is definitely really lacking for how hyped up it was. It clumps a good amount about an hour or two after use and then after you've broken in the cards they start to clump rather quickly compared to other really well handling decks. So the overall handling and feel of this deck I would have to give a 2 out of 5. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Skulker deck. Please comment, rate, and subscribe and I do appreciate you guys watching out there. All the important links are down in the description box below. I definitely recommend you guys go checking them out. My links to my Twitter, my Facebook, Instagram, my second channel, everything is down there and something that is worth looking at. Look forward to more deck reviews and other videos coming your way and I again really appreciate you guys watching my Skulker deck reveal and review. Look for more videos coming soon as I've already said before and thank you guys again so much for watching.